Hi, my name is Ellie and I'm an intern with UMatter at Chico State and something that really helps me cope with my anxiety if I'm stressed out or just something I do for fun is makeup. If you know me, you know I'm obsessed with it. So today I'm gonna be doing like get ready with me, like, you know, things that you see on YouTube because those are things that I like to watch um, in my free time, like I said, or if I'm stressed out or something like that, they always help me um, get through the day, kind of just like getting ready with someone, like make, it keeps me in check with reality that, you know, there's people out there and there's people doing things that I like to do and all that good stuff. So I'm just going to get ready, show you guys how I get ready. And yeah. So first, I'm going to put some primer on. And I just, over the summer, I got a job working at Ulta. And that's like a makeup store. In case you don't know what that is and it's so fun i'm in love with it and it's different because i haven't had like i actually get like excited going to work versus like i know a lot of people that like dread um their jobs so it's really cool that i found something that i get excited about to go to and stuff like that and like all my coworkers are super cool i get along with them we all just have a really good time all day and it's not hard work because it's something that I love, so it's super fun and makes the time go by really fast. Which is both good things and bad things. I'm just putting on some foundation. Probably just a light layer. It looks like it doesn't match my skin on here, but I'm just gonna do a light layer because it's hot out, so I don't want to sweat it all off. Not only is it fun just to like watch someone get ready while you're getting ready and like kind of having, I like having background noise when I'm doing stuff. So like kind of having someone talk to me about like what they're doing while I'm doing the same thing or just kind of like watching and learning new techniques. It's just fun to see like what other people create with their makeup and stuff like that, which is why I love them so much. I remember when I first like started having my panic attacks I don't this is like how I this is a really like weird reason why I got like kind of into makeup and makeup tutorials and stuff like that is I just randomly came across it and then like when I just started having panic attacks like for some reason like I would just watch this one youtuber her name's Ky Carly Bible and every time I would like feel stressed out or like I was like feeling like I was like disconnecting from like the world I would just turn her on and it would like help calm me down and I was just like since I love it so much I didn't really realize I guess that I loved it then but I was super into just like watching her do all this makeup and stuff that it completely like not completely but it distracted me from all that was like going on in my head and it was like really awesome and then I started discovering like a bunch of other youtubers and getting like really obsessed with it like Literally, if you know me, then you know that this is probably predictable that I'm making this video for my vlog for You Matter because makeup is like, I care about it a lot. <laughs> like, I don't know why. It's just, I just find it so much fun. You know, it's like my creative outlet kind of. And I, I think last year I started um, like a makeup Instagram. Go follow it, Elle's Lookbook. And it's been really fun on there because a lot of like, well, I'll do my looks that I like work really hard on, you know, and then my friends will kind of go on it, look on it and like hype me up. And it's just fun because it's like no one comes on there and like says negative things. It's all just kind of lighthearted. And I, I like sharing like what I'm doing with my friends. And like, I feel like I'm not really an out there type of person. So the fact that like I have an Instagram that's like all about like my makeup looks and stuff or it's like different for me and it's like pushed me to go outside my comfort zone, but in like a fun way where I can kind of like express myself or like I'll go on Instagram a lot and like look at other people's looks rather than going on Instagram and um, kind of seeing like what everyone's doing and comparing my life to other people, you know, how like sometimes there is like mental health um like stigma that like people will like see other people's posts and think like they aren't um 
making the most out of their lives. So they'll get like, you know, depressed, just like comparing their lives to others. And like, honestly, I find myself like comparing myself to people on Instagram, like, wow, like they're so skinny, they're so perfect, they're so pretty. And like when I have on my makeup one, like it's like, I don't see any of that. All I see is my makeup stuff. And like, that's what I'm focused on. And it's just cool that like, not only it's like a distraction for me, but it's just like, like the way I'm making it sound like almost sounds like I just do it to distract myself from like other things, but it's like a good distraction. Like not only am I not thinking about negative things is like, I'm doing something positive for myself. Like instead of just lying around in bed, like I actually get up out of bed, like when I can and do a makeup look and like I always feel like really proud when I like take the time to do something like that because it's like way better than just um like enab enabling myself and not getting things done which can be okay too I definitely take um days where I just need to like chill and have a me day because those are always important that's like um a way that I like to handle things too is sometimes I'll just take time of my day and watch YouTube all day surprise and just kind of like shut myself out from the world and then when I'm like re-ready when I'm ready to kind of get back into the swing of things then I'll try and get up you know do my makeup get back into my routine and try and like do the things that I know that makes me feel good and I know that I like to do so like once I start doing my makeup it I initially feel so much better I have like an entire cart of all my makeup. It's so dramatic. I have so much makeup, it's super unnecessary. But I get a discount for work working at Ulta. And it's like, there's no stopping me then because I have a discount and I'm like, well, my justification for buying the products is like, since I work here, I need to know about them. Therefore I need to buy them. So it's kind of where I'm at with that. And my friends love it too because I'll buy them stuff because I'm nice and get them stuff like, yay! It's really cool. Um, I think that I'm going to a training in Sacramento where like the head Ulta is. I don't really know too much information about it, but um, to learn more about products. And I'm super excited. That's like really cool, like a really fun opportunity. I'm going to be going with my friend Janice. She's the prestige manager at Ulta in Chico. She's super dope. She's so smart and so knowledgeable about what she does. She's been working there for like three years. Super sweet. I love her. I'm super excited to go do this too. Because as much as I love being at the cash register, I really like learning and playing with the products. It's super fun when like the vendors will come in. So say like for a certain brand, like they'll have like a representative, almost like makeup stylist or makeup artist come in and like they'll teach us about the products and they're like gonna be in the store help selling their products. And it's super fun. I've said super fun like 600 times in this because, okay, so now I'm gonna put some blush on. I have this like really cool extra blush palette that no one cares about, but I'm just gonna put on. I just like to put it on my cheeks just to bring some more color. Whenever I was thinking, so I'm going. Okay, this looks like really aggressive. I just need to blend it out, but. So I'm going, whenever I go on trips, I like always forget things of my makeup and have to borrow it from my friends. And they're like, how does this happen? Like you have so much makeup. And I just, I don't know. I get nervous to bring like my favorite things on just in case they like break or like get lost or something like that. And so um, I'm going on a trip with my friend Ellie. Actually, she was an intern for You Matter last year, I think. And we're gonna go to a music festival. I don't, I forget what it's called. Yeah, I don't know what the music festival is called, Camp Something. Her friend bailed on her, so I was the next best in line. So I'm excited. So we're gonna go, we're gonna drive down to LA. Super excited, even though she doesn't have her license. So I'm gonna drive six hours all the way there. 
Now I'm just going to put some highlight on there. I kind of like cover my face with highlighter because I just think it's so pretty. I just love how glowy it looks. I keep going in with this because I just like to blend it all out so it's not just like sitting on my face. Um, then I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm kind of lazy and eyebrows are like a lot of work. So I kind of just pencil them in rather than like I'm just gonna kind of go in with a little bit and just fill in the sparse areas. This mirror is so dirty that I can't even see anything on it. Get a new one. I'm actually going on two trips now that I think about it. After I go to the music festival with Ellie, I'm going to Seattle to visit my best friend, Andy. And also, if you know me, then you know that I'm obsessed with my friends because they're the best people in the entire world. And they are my family and they are the best people ever. And for every year for my birthday, Andy gets me a ticket Oh, my eyebrow looks weird. Gets me a plane ticket to come see her. And so I'm so excited to see her. I haven't seen her in so long because she lives, like, in Seattle now. And, like, all my friends, like, Kat lives in um, Arizona. Kelly's in Boulder. Jordan's in Boulder. Like, they're all over the place. And I'm, like, the closest to home, like, home where we're all from. And so they're not there a lot. But I'm excited to go see her. And then we're going to... Just some setting spray. Okay, so I'm going to class after this. So I'm not going to do like my whole... Like I have eyeshadow palettes that are like this. Like really dramatic. But I'm just going to put on, you know, some mascara. Just a little quick get ready with me. Just if you need someone to get ready with, I'm here. I'm taking my little mascara. I'm only gonna put a little bit of mascara on because I'm gonna put fake eyelashes on, but I'm not gonna put that in this because they take me like 10 years to put on. It's like impossible to put fake eyelashes on, I swear. And I watch everyone on YouTube and they just like plop them on. I'm like, okay. Oh my God, there's a hair in my eye. Oh wait, that's not the last step. How can I get? foundation all over my lips. I'm gonna use this pretty sparkly lip gloss. So my whole face has sparkles on it so I might as well put some on my lips. There! Now I'm ready for class! Okay, so this is basically just what I do every day. Super easy. Um, I just wanted to share with you guys like what helps me like calm down like I'm just like I'm really like excited to go like hang out with my friends right now and then like go to class like I feel like a lot more confident that like I did my makeup and stuff because like not only just like the makeup itself for su superficial reasons like I just like the fact like the process of it and it's just it makes me feel confident that I have something that I truly like and that there's something that I care about and it just means a lot to me that I have something like that that I can use as an outlet um, <clears throat> that makes me feel more comfortable with myself and just like t seeing other people do it I feel like connected to others and like watching them get ready too. It may sound silly but this is how I 
find my creative outlet, how I kind of move away from my anxieties when I need to break or just like even when I just want to have fun, like I'll just do my makeup. So I just wanted to share that with you guys and yeah.